Jones, Indiana Jones, Indiana Jones. It's a podcast about Indiana Jones. Every movie, one minute at a time. Welcome back to the Indiana Jones Minute, the podcast in which we celebrate and discuss the film Raiders of the Lost Ark one minute at a time. I am Tom Taylor. I'm Pete Mummert. And I'm Jerry Porter. And today we are discussing Minute 9 of Raiders of the Lost Ark, which begins with a very satisfied-seeming Indiana Jones successfully trading an idol for a bag of sand and it ends a minute later with Indy probably about to fall to his death, and I assume the movie's over then. <laughs> I guess that's it. Yeah, this is another one of those minutes that really <laughs> reminds me of Star Wars. It, I think it's the expression on Indy's face right after he thinks the sand <laughs> trick has worked. He has sort of that crooked smile, and it, it looks yeah. exactly like in Return of the Jedi when he does the, hey, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is a pretty Han Solo move. Like, yep, I've done it again. I'm not messing up at all. Um, this is something I've never been totally clear. Well, I think I understand what's going on here. Was the bag actually too heavy, and that's why the thing is sinking? Or was it just any different? Like, if it was too light, would the thing, like, raise up or something? Or is it just simply the fact that the the table somehow knows that the idol's been uh, replaced? I think if the intern was correct... Well, I think, it, I, you know, I wondered the same thing. Like, what if it, it, it was the exact same weight? Was it just for a split second there, there, there was, wasn't was yeah. weight on the, on the actual idle altar? And so it was like, okay, calling it, you know. Or was it actually like, oh, this is too heavy or too light? Right. But we do, what we do know is that, you know, the Hovitos here are definitely not a one booby trap type uh, <laughs> group of people because everything collapses. All booby traps, everything, <laughs> the altar starts to fall. I like that's it. There's no more hallways. There's no more. <laughs> We've tried the everything. Little... Yeah. <laughs> We've tried everything. Now we're just going to try everything. <laughs> yeah. Coming at you with big darts. Yeah. Done. yeah. And by the and way, he does fine yeah, just ahead. running across the thing. And, like, just saying, ah, oh, to hell with it, and just running across as fast as he can. Like, why didn't he just do that the first time? You know, with the darts and the and the, and the the tiles and everything. Well, whoever, just run whoever that time. designed the, you know, the Havitos, whoever was the defense minister, you know, <laughs> why didn't they, were they like, you know, if somebody tries to walk out, this will be great. We're going to, you know, we're going to, we're going to skewer them. <laughs> you know, they should have had it a little, the little trip wire or whatever, it should have been a little faster. Or was it just done so long ago that, you know, people weren't that fast back then? Oh, maybe. <laughs> like with better nutrition and these sorts of things, stretching techniques. Better shoes. Yeah. <laughs> Bull whips. <laughs> Stubble. Well, this scene was, this minute was a complete heartbreaker for me because you see Satipo's true colors and I know, you know, when, yeah, I didn't really want to do this minute. This was, this just wasn't. Do you want to set this and one out, Jerry? I kind of, a little bit. I appreciate that. <laughs> so, want some so do you tea think, or something? Do you think this was premeditated by Satipo or was this a crime of opportunity? Like, That's an excellent see, question. Cause it, did he just think as soon as that log kind of broke down, is he like, Oh, Hey, I could, I could just take this. <laughs> Wait, well, and he yeah, looks I'm over at here it and he's too, over there. Like, yeah, like yeah, he wasn't exactly. playing. He looks at like, hey, he looks at the the whip and it's in his hands. He's like, oh my gosh, that just happened. Yeah, it's the people. All of us would all of us sit there with the idol in our hand and the broken log and think, hey, I could just leave this guy and I'd have this idol. I want to cut him so some slack because. You know, whether or not he's, you know, stabbing Indy in the back, he's, like, in a very perilous life-and-death situation. He's, like, a uh, part of it could be just good old-fashioned panic and uh, self-preservation, but... Uh, he's in a state Although, of there's the whole idle thing. Like, he, he could have, like, just took an off or 
drop the whip or something or just toss it to Indy regardless, you know, but yeah, they like, what's Indy thinking? Like what? Oh, oh, okay. I'll throw him the idol. And then he'll throw me through. Like, is he thinking like, Oh, Satipo's worried that I'm not going to be able to hold onto the whip and carry the idol at the same time. Or is he just like, I'm getting screwed here, but what am I going to do? I got to throw him the idol and then I'm not going to get the whip and I'm going to have to jump. I think it's the latter. Cause he, I yeah. have to say, he acts pretty, he acts pretty quickly. Yeah. He asks once, and then he's like, th- and he's he's already he's already throwing him the idol. Like I'm screwed here. Yeah. yeah. There really is no time to argue. There it's really is no time to argue. <laughs> which is he's he's you know quick on his feet. Yeah. Another another. It's character kind of, it's kind of yeah. heartbreaking. Indy throws him the idol. And he's like, give me the whip. Like we had a deal. Remember, <laughs> like seconds ago, you and me. Yeah, deal? but you know what? It that's the heartbreaking part is when he says yeah. like, no time to argue, and he says, you know, throw me the idol. You're kind of like. Oh, he's still. Hey, I got you on this. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? And 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 he, he's so convincing about it. That's yeah. what I think really bummed me out. And then he he looks at him and just it's it's vicious. He says adios, senor, and it's and he drops it. Yeah, he just drops that's it. Like, actually, yeah, yeah he that's... drops it, and you're just There's like, no oh, remorse dude. or I wish it didn't have to be like this. It's like I'm so excited it gets to be like this. And and his <laughs> eyes kind of bug out for a quick second, like yeah, yeah that's it. And he's just taunting him. He just, oops, yeah. did I do that? That's terrible. <laughs> Damn it, Satipo. But I have to say the the let the previous two or three minutes. What we brought up was, you know, Indy's abusive, you know, his his yeah. his uh, penchant for abusing Satipo. And we've only and... seen him for like the last nine minutes or something. Who knows what happened like on the road to wherever they ended up at the very beginning. That's you know, true. This could have been yeah. going, This could be weeks and weeks of abuse and and belittling and. Yeah, did Indy bring this upon himself? He might have. Well, he did in one sense. He shouldn't have let Satipo go first. <laughs> and I, to, to be honest, of what we know of Indy's character so far, I'm surprised he didn't like step on his head with the idol and be like, "Get out of the way." <laughs> yeah. Or yeah, I'm surprised he didn't find out about the darts and the tiles and be like, "Hey, be real careful, but uh, see if you can get across there and grab that <laughs> idol. I'll be over here." <laughs> and if you don't, if you don't, there's no dinner. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. See, I like that. You won the car this weekend, didn't you? See if that works out. <laughs> I like when all the everything starts falling off of the ceiling and the wall. It it's like a giant idol on the wall who has this big snaggle tooth. He looks kind of like Snaggle Tooth from the Cantina in Star Wars, <laughs> and his tooth falls off, and that's what starts everything. Oh my god! I never noticed that. Really? I gotta look at that again. It's, it's, yeah, it's the giant Snaggle Tooth, and the tooth falls off, and that leads to the chain reaction. This whole reaction, this whole thing falling apart, it does seem a little bit like the Havitos are, you know, cutting off their nose to spite their face a little bit. They've got, they're destroying their entire <laughs> place just to, like, be angry at somebody who took something. Yeah, but, you know, it's like you think about that, Tommy. I mean, if you what if uh, what if you tore apart God then what would you have left? See, yeah. But, you know, and I don't want to, you know, jump ahead or spoil anything, but, you know, there there's an excellent deterrent later on in, like, the next minute, um, you know, that if they just trigger that immediately, they can have their whole place intact and the would-be thief is stuck there. I don't know. I don't want to play Monday morning quarterback with the Havitos. That's not my intention. <laughs> well, get back to the Satipo thing. Well, it's, I don't really, it's hard for me to return to it, but <laughs> what was he going to do? Like, let, let's imagine. So like, you know, Indy jumps. And as you said, you know, the movie comes to an abrupt end and you're like, <laughs> okay. So Satipo goes out, he goes out the way he came in and like, what was he planning on doing? Like, this is going to be great just above the fireplace. <laughs> right. <laughs> or is yeah. he, or is he like, well, I'm going to melt this down because it's 42 pounds of gold. This or will look great like, next to my Oscar. Yeah. <laughs> or, or is he like, oh, no, I'm going to give this to, you know, the other grave robbers who might be out there and they're going to pay a hefty yeah. price for it at the market. Like, I wonder what he really had planned. Well, it's a fertility idol. Maybe he and his wife have had trouble conceiving. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
going to take it home. Could be. <laughs> oh, it's, it's, a <laughs> it's pretty good, right on the right on the headboard there. I mean, it puts me in the mood just seeing it there. It's such an attractive object. <laughs> yeah, her expression is lovely. Yeah. I come hither grimace. <laughs> <laughs> and that uh that uh that vine that he grabs onto he jumps which is awesome he just says uh to hell with it i'm gonna jump and he jumps and he kind of makes it and he's holding on to that uh i don't do you call it a, a weed or a vine or what but a he uh or something yeah yeah like a like a dried up root and it gives an incredible amount but then is still strong enough to like hold him <laughs> after like almost lets him go that always kind of like i i I never understood the physics of that uh, of that root. I like that he has, for a moment, just a great look of relief on his face. Yeah, he thinks it's going to hold, and he kind of sighs and smiles, and then it lets go more. Yeah, that's I want to say that's a very. Uh, I was going to yeah, say that's go a very Han Solo thing too. That's a very Han Solo yeah. moment that look. But uh, as we rack these up, maybe they're all just Harrison Ford moments, or would be Tom Selleck moments. <laughs> Ugh. I'm not going to let that go. <laughs> when he when he makes that leap, every time I see that, I'm like, "Ouch!" Yeah, no, it's that just does he look lands like full, like all twelve, you know, twelve ribs, like bam. Yeah. And it's just like, ah, oh, God, that's got to kill. <laughs> if it, these rocks, they seem like they're made out of rubber. Yeah, that has like, always been a weird look to me. Like yeah, when, he it looks grabs, like they're... when he grabs the rock on top, it kind of gives way like it's a sort of flexible <laughs> thing. And then when he stands on the rocks below, like the whole rock wall kind of bends in. Yeah, it's like he's it's like he's kicking a, a giant beaded curtain or something. It's like they're just <laughs> sort of hanging there or like they're held by the, yeah. the cobwebs or something. Well, that's the way rocks are in South America. <laughs> I guess so. I've got a lot to learn about South America and Hawaii. Um, well, I'm excited to find out what happens to old Indy. I am so too. maybe we should wrap this one up. Unless anybody else has anything uh, to add. Oh, you just can't get good help these days. You really can't. <laughs> well, Sateepo, man. Sateepo. maybe Satipo will get his just desserts. Who knows? Yeah, we'll see tomorrow. We'll see. Pete, where can well, these people, these nice people out there, where, where can they get in touch with us? You can find us at indianajonesminute.com. You can find us on Facebook. You can find us on Twitter, Instagram. If you like the show, you can subscribe via iTunes. And please leave us a review if you like the show. And Not if you don't like the show. No. If you don't, if you like, don't like, show, like it, just keep it to yourself. And go, go listen to the Star Wars Minute because you'll like that no matter what. Yes, they're brilliant. If you like Raiders, that kind of means you obviously like Star Wars, right? Yeah, is that just me? To. Is that just us? I don't know. <laughs> um, but no, it is a fantastic show, and uh, those guys are brilliant for uh, basically inventing this format. And uh, we encourage you to patronize them because they're awesome. Um, but don't give up on us. Come back for minute uh, 10, where we find out just what happens to old Indy. And uh, maybe we'll find out what happens to his buddy uh, Satipo, and maybe other people. Who knows? Uh, but we'll find out tomorrow for Minute 10 of the Indiana Jones Minute. Adios, senor. Adios, if senor. You, <laughs> if you insist, senor. <laughs> <laughs>